Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Thanks for joining us at the press conference, <coughs> Paris Free Skating. Thanks that you have come, and especially thanks to the six of you joining us. Thanks to have you here again. We saw one another on Wednesday already. The ranking was a little bit different. Welcome, Alexandra, Dmitri, Evgenia, Vladimir, Daria, and Dennis. <laughs> Alexandra and Dmitri, you won the short program. You were first tonight. It's a big victory. Did you expect, I think you are ahead about 26 points, did you expect to dominate that pair skating so clearly? Um, we were not thinking about our points and now we still don't thinking about our points uh, because uh, we just need to, to do our job and then there will be a good, a good results. So it was big result of big team, and we are so thankful. Any people who helped us in this. I think it was the best score of this season. It's your first big international title. What does it mean to you to have reached this? I suppose it's a big goal to have reached this big goal right now. For this moment we are so happy and we are so excited. Um, because, how you say, uh, it was our first international big title. But I think in the nearest future it uh, will be doesn't matter for us, I think so. Because we now we try to concentrate for our prepare uh, for World Championship. Maybe we can talk about World Championship, World Championship a little bit later. <coughs> I think I think not now. Not now. Okay. Not now. You mean today is European Championship and World Championship is in March, and it's a little <laughs> bit time up to then. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much so far. Thank you. Evgeny and Vladimir, you were third after the short program, but I suppose you knew that you had a real good chance to make up that little gap of, I think it was 1.4 points. So, how satisfied are you that you got the silver medal now? So, good evening everyone. Uh, firstly, I want to say that it was a really long day. After, pra after practice we had uh, 11 hours break. I did many things. I sleep, I meet, I walk in. I finally I get a hot shower in a hotel. And uh, we just skate tonight. It was not perfect. Something was better, something uh, not good, but uh, still we work on program, uh, working hard, and we just keep going. You talked about a break. Uh, break is one of the keywords, maybe, for uh, this event. It's quite unusual that you have a break of one day between the first part and the second part of the event. Is it, was it good for you to have a break? Uh, did you think about it? Uh, how did you deal with it? I can say that it was unusual. Sometimes it's a normal schedule. Okay with one day break and uh, it's normally we was prepared for this and it's okay for us. Okay, thank you very much. Daria and Denis, you are third but I had the impression that you weren't too disappointed that you lost your second place. Is this impression I got a correct one? Uh, да, конечно, мы не расстроились. У нас первая медаль чемпионата Европы, наш путь только начинается. Uh, мы видим, над чем нам рабо uh, надо работать, над, над 
чем мы хотим работать, с чем мы хотим себя совершенствовать прежде всего. И для нас, мы получаем удовольствие от того, что мы катаем сейчас и как мы катаемся, хоть и катаемся иногда с ошибками. Yes, we are not upset. Um, this is our first medal at the European Championships and our path just started. And we've seen what we want to work on, what we have to work on, and we want to perfect ourselves and we really enjoy, enjoy skating and, um, and how we are skating and sometimes uh, we are skating with mistakes. Uh, Dennis, you talked to my colleague Karl-Heinz Wieser just a few minutes ago and you told him that it's not the first time you are skating here in Graz. You have been skating in Graz, is it correct? Uh, yes. Я был в Грации и впервые увидел парное катание в Грации, когда я еще выступал по одиночным. И уже в следующем сезоне, по-моему, я перешел к Сергею Владимировичу. И да, мое парное катание, можно сказать, что началось здесь. Yes, it's true. Uh, uh, for the first time I saw pair skating when I was here in Graz, uh, still competing in singles. And I think just one season after that I switched, uh, I went to, I switched to pair skating. I went to uh, Sergei Vladimirovich Deproskokov's training group. And so I can say that my pair skating career started here. So quite back to the roots, huh? <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your questions, please. Okay. Thank you. Good to see you here. Uh, Alexandra and Dmitri, uh, you looked so relieved at the end of your program, as if you had endured a huge tension throughout, although you were eight points ahead of competition when you entered. Uh, what what did it mean to you to skate last, to skate the way you skated, to the way you approached that program? Uh, and also just for you, Alexandra, is it a good time to celebrate your birthday now? Uh, yes, now we feel quite relieved because uh, how I already said, we did our job and um, of course, skating the last uh, is much harder than to skate, I don't know, uh, any number <laughs> uh, before the last. Um, but uh, now, yes, I can celebrate my birthday, but I don't know how. <laughs> Maybe in St. Petersburg there will be some ideas, but uh, in my near future I have exams. So I need to prepare for exams. Thank you very much. Any more questions? Okay. Uh, also to Alexandra and Dimitri, uh, St. Petersburg has such a rich history, such a rich legacy when it comes to pair skating. Wonderful teams coming from St. Petersburg won uh, medals, uh, Olympic, European world medals. So do you feel you have a responsibility to keep that legacy alive? Do you, you feel? I think now we don't think about our legacy. We just concentrated on our result, on our feelings, on our skating. I think we start to talk about our legacy when our career has ended, but not now, I think so, really. Any more questions? Okay. So, uh, a question to the leaders, uh, to the champions. Uh, what are you going to work on before the Worlds? And uh, maybe some changes in the program. And what did Tamara Muspina told you after the free skate? Was she absolutely pleased with your skate or there were maybe some mistakes? Um, Tamara were, was, I think, really happy 
with our results and uh, she was pleased with it. And um, I don't know, but I think we will improve our skating skills a lot before the world. And maybe, maybe new, some new elements, but it's a coach decision, not our. Thank you. First row again. Thank you. Daria and Denise, uh, we've seen your program evolve through the season, and I'm so impressed by the theatricality of it and the way you lay your story, you deploy your story along uh, the music, with the music that goes crescendo throughout. Uh, on top of your elements, how difficult is it to do both those elements and that story that builds up through the program and that makes it so interesting? Но это работа у всех фигуристов, и мы работаем над этим тщательно с нашими хореографами, с постановщиками. Это интересно рассказывать историю, чтобы зритель мог тебя понять и понимал. У каждого зрителя может быть разное понимание нашей программы, и это хорошо, это здорово. Каждый видит это по-своему, и мы стараемся передать наши чувства, эмоции, и в то же время историю, которую задумывали мы. Okay, so, um, well, this is the work of all skaters, the job of all skaters. We are working with our choreographers, and, uh, and it is always interesting to tell a story and that the audience understands it, and each spectator can understand it in its own way, and I think that's great. And we want to bring across our emotions and the story. And Dasha said that she is completely, she totally agrees with her partner, as it would be in pair skating. <laughs> yeah, my question to Evgeny Taras and Vladimir Morozov. At the previous European Championships, you also was on second place and, and also did some mistakes in a free skate. And could you maybe compare res results and your emotions at these two tournaments? How, what do you think? А если перевести, то как вы оцените свое выступление здесь и на прошлом чемпионате Европы, если сравнить по ощущениям, насколько они отличаются? Потому что примерно и, там, и тогда, и сейчас второе место, и такие же ошибки примерно. Sorry, I want to speak on Russian. Ну, ощущения, наверное, не самые приятные, но есть положительные стороны, есть хорошая программа, которая поставлена, и нам удается ее передать. С элементами справимся, а показывать чувства в программе, показывать э, саму программу и преподносить ее для зрителей, это одно из важных, один из важных моментов, который, э, который нужно показать, над которым нужно очень много работать. Да, были ошибки на элементах технически, но я рада, что программу нам удалось показать хорошо и ее оценивают. Поэтому чувство все равно лучше, чем прошлый год. И я считаю, что каждый сезон мы стараемся добавлять что-то новое, раскрываться в чем-то новом. И я надеюсь, мы на, правильном, мы на правильной дороге, точнее, не, не надеюсь, я знаю, что мы на правильной дороге, и все будет как нужно. A question to Evgenia. Um, and no, wait, 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 we need a translation, please. <laughs> so, um, 
Well, yeah, obviously it's not like the best feelings, but still it's more positive uh, because we, has, uh, we have a good program and that we want to bring across. Yes, we have to show the elements and, um, and we are dealing with the elements. We can do these elements and it's a very important part to show the program and uh, that's what uh, we've worked on a lot. Uh, yes, we, there were some technical mistakes today, but I'm still happy that we were able to show to perform our program and that it was appreciated. And so after all, we are still feeling better than we felt last year. And each season we are trying to add something new and something different to our skating. And I, I hope, no, I know that we are on the right way and everything will be as it should be. Thank you, okay. A question to Evgenia and Vladimir. Uh, now your coach is Marina Zuleva, she is also a, leg a legendary dance coach. So what's the difference in the training process? Do you feel that uh, your skating skills became better, your interpretation, and what's the difference between her training style and the previous one? From this season, we start uh, work with Marina, and uh, for sure, it's uh, many different things. Uh, it starts from uh, different country, also it's different schedule for practice uh, with skating in the first half of the day. And also, we work uh, a lot on uh, interpretation, uh, skating skills, and uh, choreography, and ballet, and we're doing everything. And, uh, it's completely different uh, training for us. Okay, a question in the first row and then the lady in the second row. The question is to Evgeny and uh, Vladimir. You managed to perform the very impressive driving program, maybe from the uh, point of presentation, it is the best of which we have seen. But what happened? Why did not you manage to perform everything which was uh, thought, which was trained, on which uh, you work at the training sessions? Uh, are there any causes for the, your mistakes here? Thank you. You understand? Maybe I think uh, more about the program, not like a jump, but actually it's just happened. It's nothing, um, nothing special, I think. Okay, any more questions? Question. Okay, one more question. Uh, okay. uh, to yeah. uh, Alexandra and uh, Dimitri. My, mm -mm. My question is, how uh, did you manage to add to your uh, so good uh, technique in this uh, championships? You added so stability. You were the most stable of uh, skaters. You practically did no mistakes. What is the secret of your so good uh, performance? Thank you. We work a lot uh, in St. Petersburg. We have uh, fantastic coaches, Tamara Moskvina, Artur Minchuk, and they work not only with our physical, they work with our mental. And it really help us to concentrate on ourselves, not on others, but only on ourselves. And this is really help us. Okay, thank you. 
Now, the lady in the second row. Okay, this is a question to Dennis. Uh, it's a more of a relaxed question. Um, you always seem to encourage Daria at the beginning of every performance, and she always listens very attentively to you. What do you tell her? На самом деле это секрет, и это получилось достаточно очень спонтанно, потому что как-то тренер сказал типа придумайте себе какую-нибудь традицию перед стартом. И поначалу это было просто какие-то шутки могло быть, а потом уже да настрой, ну и частично традиция, но всегда все по-разному. Well, it is a secret, and it uh, came about spontaneously. Uh, just our coach uh, told us, um, you just should uh, think of a tradition. And so at the beginning, it was just uh, some jokes, and uh, then it was more about focus, so it could be very different. Every time it can be different. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. The Paris competition is over, but I suppose we'll see all of you at the exhibition gala on Sunday. Is that correct? Fine. We're looking forward to seeing you. Congratulations again. Have a nice evening. Have a nice celebration. Drink a glass of champagne. And if there is no glass of champagne, take and try a glass of Styrian wine.